Ever since I made the unboxing of the Sailor Moon DVDs, people have asked me to make a DVD review of them. This review doesn't really have anything to do with an actual review of Sailor Moon. It just has to do with a review of the DVDs. Um, this is the limited box set collection 1 and 2. Uh, 1 is a, you know, Sailor Moon... Sailor Moon R and Sailor Moon S. Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon R are separated by Season 1 and Season 2. And the limited box collection 2 is all the movies, all three of the movies, Sailor Moon Super S and Sailor Stars. Now, for the formatting of these DVDs, um, I meant, like, for what versions you have of the seasons... The, um, this is the Sailor Moon, or Season 1. Um, this is the Deke dub. And this is the Deke dub. And, um, sadly, neither of them have any of the missing episodes, which obviously I would have preferred. But these are bootlegs, so, uh, I shouldn't ask for any special stuff. i rather get the dub than have the subbed. I'm sorry, I'm some kind of fucking poser. It's just easier for me to digest sometimes. Especially if a show like Sailor Moon. If I'm trying to watch something that's really, like, highbrow... This is no knock on Sailor Moon, I'm sorry. But if I'm trying to watch something ho more highbrow, I might prefer subtitles. But when I'm watching something like Sailor Moon, I don't want to keep looking down to the bottom of the screen over and over again to read the subtitles. It's just it's just how I am. Now, um, after that, with Sailor Moon S, Sailor Moon Super S, and Sailor Stars, um, you get the full episodes, the unedited episodes. And with Sailor Moon S and Sailor Moon Super S, you get the choice of having an English or Japanese with the subtitles. And because Sailor or Sailor Moon Su Sailor Stars was never released in the United States, the fifth and final season, it is only in Japanese subtitles. Um, other people that have gotten these DVDs have told me that the subtitles on this are actually subpar, but for me they did the job. Obviously, I um, have not seen the actual transactions and cannot speak Japanese, so I really can't say if they are accurate or not, but they did the job for me to where I knew what was going on, and that's good. Really, when you're dealing with bootlegs, that's pretty fucking good, because you could get just awful garbage. Um, I was able to read everything that was on screen, and I understood what was going on. So that was pretty good. Um, the movies are just like uh, Sailor Moon uh, S and Sailor Moon Super S, and you're able to s switch in between uh, subtitled Japanese or dubbed English. It's pretty cool. Um, so... Getting down to other stuff, basically the quality of these DVDs can range from DVD quality to VHS quality. And that doesn't really bother me, it might bother some people, but again, these are bootlegs, so it's better, there could be a million times worse than, <laughs> than um, goddamn uh, VHS quality, VHS isn't that bad. And, um, for the DVDs, all of them work just, ex um, all of them work pretty well, with the exception of Sailor Moon R, um, and the last DVD did not work for me, and it's kind of like, here it is, it's kind of like, well, fuck, what the fuck do I do now if I can't get the work? I can't really send it back. <laughs> I didn't really want to send it back, plus I was already done with all the rest of the stuff, and I didn't want it to come back any worse. And the biggest malfunction also, um, 
with uh, like audio and visual was hearing Sailor Moon R when here I gotta get this I put this in here on disc two the fourth episode on disc two it's um it's out of sync the audio is out of sync with the visual and that sucks pretty hard I don't know if it's the I can't remember if it's the Japanese episode and the American audio and because the running times are different that's all screwed up I don't know and um, other than that these are pretty fine something I'd like to say that's interesting about um, these is that when you're watching these you can see cigarette burns um, if you don't know what a cigarette burn is I uh, it's when you're cha it's a signal to change reels in the middle of a movie so these must be directly converted films and are not <laughs> and aren't VHS's converted or uh, Japanese DVDs converted or the optical converted which is exceedingly weird actually that these have cigarette burns intact um, but it's pretty good um, really here I'm here um, each set costs about seventy to seventy-five dollars on eBay and um, or Amazon. And the first, the this one, the collection one, is only on. E well, I only go on the eBay and Amazon to get this kind of stuff. This one's on eBay, and Amazon's a little bit easier personally for me than eBay. And this one's on Amazon. Amazon's just a little easier to use, I guess. Um, they cost about seventy, seventy-five dollars, and you know that's pretty normal for uh, DVD, probably a season set. Um, you know, twenty-five dollars is that that bad? Not really. And when you think about it. Um, Compared to a lot of anime, like, uh, real non-bootlegged optical anime comes in these stupid, you know, three-episode packs, and it'll cost you a whole lot more, so that's pretty good. And the other thing is, if you actually went out and got the actual legal versions of Sailor Moon on DVD, it would cost you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, at least the English versions or at least the Region 1 English versions, the American-Canadian Region English versions. And uh, you'd have to order them off a of bootleg and then get a region codeless DVD player if you're trying to get Japanese, and then, I, then you wouldn't get subtitles or anything. So this is the best bet. This is probably cheaper than going VHS-wise and getting them all on VHS or something stupid like that. This is the cheapest, most cost-efficient way to get it while maintaining somewhere between fluctuating between a VHS and a DVD quality. Um, this is pretty good. For people addressing the fact that Sailor Moon is going to get a reboot now, is it worth getting these before the reboot comes out because a lot of people are saying that the reboot is going to be released internationally and that the company behind the dubs or whatever is going to be forced to re-release the dubs in English um, I don't think it's going to be released internationally onto American TV and if it does get released I think it'll be years down the line so I'd, it's safe to say for at least this year the remainder of 2000 13 this is better than trying to wait out for the DVDs to come into English because I really don't think that they're going to come well look, look at um, the Fright Night movie I don't think that Fright Night 2 came on DVD <laughs> yet did it so you know it's probably better to get these right now because I don't think that they'll come to DVD until it is dubbed into English and then the English dubbed is released on DVD and still there it's even iffy. So yeah, thanks for uh, watching and have a good day.